Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Alui. I'm the co-founder and co-CEO of Gojek. You're listening to Go Figure, Work From Home Special Edition. Through this podcast, I'm going to discuss with various Gojek leaders and personalities what goes on behind the scenes of navigating a global organization. Today, we will take you down memory lane with one of our most beloved leaders who also witnessed Gojek's journey from a small call center to the global tech company it is today. In this episode, I'm sitting down with my co-CEO, Andres Solistio, and Gojek's outgoing Chief Technology Officer, Ajay Gur. Out of time here, uh, yeah. but uh, you know, I need to what, ask you uh, two questions as well, uh, by the way, before you oh. get out of time. I'm gonna ask, her. okay, <laughs> yeah, so okay, <laughs> yeah, but you go ahead, then, then, then well, well, then, okay, uh, what would you say, uh, 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 is uh, what would you say are the uh, kind of you know, if you, the 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 parting, uh, I guess, advice that you would give to to you know, the people at at at, at Gojek? Uh, again, you're not going to disappear, and uh, many people yeah. will, will keep in um, touch. But if you can kind of leave just one or two bits of like Ajay's legacy, you know, in 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 the company, you know, what would what would those what would those be? I would say this: um, be ready to get fired at fired every day, um, because that brings the best out of you. Uh, because you'll do the right thing for yourself, for your team, for your company. Uh, if you start okay. optimizing okay. for your career, are you saying people? Are you saying people should be in constant fear? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. Not constant fear. Being very careless about it. Like, if you are doing the right thing, you stand by your your ethics, your morals, your principles. I'm trying to say that. Like, if and and if you are right, when you are be ready to get fired, actually you never get fired because people will see that you are right. So, but having that attitude. Is super important, not in an arrogant way, but in a very, very serious way. Saying, "I'm okay. I'm gonna go do right thing. I'm gonna go talk to Kevin. I'm gonna talk to Andrew. I'm gonna talk to somebody else. Tell them my view, and they'll understand. And people do understand all the time. I'll tell you this: a lot of people are logical. Ninety-five uh, percent of people are logical. Five percent who are not logical is because they have some preoccupied condition, something at home, something at work, something some other legal issue. They have something preoccupied. That's why they seem not logical. People understand if they're free, they understand. This is one advice I'll give you. Um, second advice I'll, I'll I'll always say my advice, which I followed the principle, is is um, earn people, not money. Uh, money will come if you do right thing. Uh, but don't earn people by by doing right like doing favors to them. If I have to say something to Kevin, and if I'm saying something to Kevin or Andre to somebody else, if I can personally say the same thing to Kevin and Andre, okay. And if that answer is not okay, then don't do it in professional environment. Do it to your friends. No back channels. Don't do it any bitching. Be nice. There is no reason for doing that. There is no reason for doing that. It doesn't get you anything. Uh, you might get some some something, but never gets you. So I I always understood that very well. And third thing which I felt, uh, I always felt uh, where I was here, there is nobody out there to take you out. That is one thing very important. Like there is nobody who has, who, who has ill intention. Nobody has bad intention. I always, and I, I have told many, many people, there's no developer in the world who wants his code to be sitting on his laptop. There is no product manager in the world who wants his, his designs to be in designer's laptop. There is no entrepreneur or founder in the world who doesn't want his business to be successful. So there is nobody has any bad intention across. There is no ops person who doesn't want to operate, want to do sales. They want to do it genuinely. They will do it genuinely. If they are not doing, I'll go ask them. But there's no bad intent for anybody to take you out. Nobody's after you. Um, so if you have this, things will just go fine. And that actually helped with me. Like a lot of time, people. People's action felt like, why they are doing like this? And then just go and I I went and just asked personally, saying, hey, what is problem? And there are a lot of people in Gojek who have came and given me personal direct feedback. Amazing, I love that. They corrected me on I shouldn't say this. I did I mean that? Um, are you okay? And that is something amazing because that actually reinforces my all these three thoughts. Yeah, dude. So what are your questions, Ajay? 
<laughs> I have I have very simple questions, dude. Um, for you, I have a very funny question for you, which me and Andrew just thought before you joined. So this whole dog thing which you have um, is that uh, is that uh, is that conspiracy? Like you will have this whole dog thing going on in Gojek right now. And you love the dog, and suddenly you will change. We have thought process that suddenly you will change it to cat one day, and everybody like, oh my god, <laughs> and I was like all about dogs, and now it's cats. What happened? What is going on with the dog? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not sure how to answer that question. Uh, no, just uh, I, I okay. Have promise to, uh, that you're not uh, not gonna switch to cats. Promise that you're not no, gonna switch to cats. No, I, no, I have okay. nothing against cats either. I mean, uh, no, no, I, it's okay. I, I, so my 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 sister has a cat uh, and a dog. Uh, uh, my mom always had dogs. Um, uh, my wife has grown up with dogs, and one day she decides to buy a dog, and it's a very fluffy uh, lap dog that uh, whose company I also enjoy. Uh, and I, I like the dog. <laughs> no, good um, to know. Good to know. Good to know. Me and Andrew, and, me and Andrew were discussing yeah, it like, before. So I thought uh, I should just clarify it for the whole world. Okay. I don't seem to be the kind. I'm, I'm not, I, don't, I might not seem to be the kind of person who, who would be into small, fluffy dogs, but I, I guess I am. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> So, so don't I love that. Me. Okay, serious question. No, I'm not judging. I'm just asking for everybody's answers. <laughs> um, I love dogs <laughs> as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> benefit, correct. Okay, second serious question. Um, so I know who you are as a, as a person. Uh, <clears throat> I know what, like, I kind of know. Let me put it that way. Um, if, if, uh, if, if there are three things you would absolutely love in somebody as a trait, uh, what would those be? Maybe Andre can start. No, I'm this thinking. time you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Andre, I have a different question for Andre, by the way. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. 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 Um, <laughs> all right. Um, uh, I think I, I, uh, I value uh, intellectual honesty. Uh, uh, probably above almost all uh, all different traits, um, and, and and what that means is that um, you know I, I I I'm conscious that everyone has their own dogmas, as you mentioned, right? They they all have uh, uh, those those very hard set beliefs, uh, but I, I I do think that we should always uh, we should always tend towards very loosely held beliefs. Uh, I think that there are no beliefs that are very few. There are very few beliefs that are truly sacred. Very, 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 very few. Um, and I think, you know, almost all things, one needs to be open-minded to change. Um, uh, a, a, as you mentioned, right? I think um, things that were worked yesterday uh, might not work today. Um, uh, things that uh, uh, you, you very solidly believed in. Uh, there could be uh, data or evidence of some sort that shows that you know what you believe in is is wrong. And then I think, you know, the 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 journey of uh, at least you know a key part of what I think is part of the, a big part of the human journey is is really about understanding. Um, and and I think truly, uh, 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 you know, the more you uh, the more you learn, the more you the more you know how little you know, right? And um, so I think intellectual honesty, I think, is, is, is very, very important to me um, uh, because in reality, you know, all of us know very little. Um, I think that's one. Uh, I think the second one, uh, the second quality that I, uh, I, I really value is um, uh, I think transparency. Um, and, and I think you know, part of this is because of my own uh, personal probably challenges, right? I think uh, I'm not, as you, I'm sure you're aware, you know, I'm not the best at reading uh, subconscious, you know, statements or insinuations. Uh, uh, and, and you know, I think what, what, what a lot of people might think are kind of normal, like, oh, this is actually what I meant uh, uh, type of, you know, uh, statements, uh, it totally flies by my head. Right, so so I think you know, what I, I what I, I value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what 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 Kevin means is that he's not um, very super uh, upfront perceiving, but if you tell him things thrice, you will understand it. 
but yeah uh, kevin does not react to sub subtle messages he does not and which is very no. good actually in lot of no 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 in lot of sense uh, in lot of uh, sense well 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 thank you uh, i think it's a, it's it's both a strength and weakness uh, i yes. i i recognize communication uh, uh, but and product things amazing personal yeah i agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah well and, and and that's why like I, I as as a as you know what I value in people are are also that ability to just you know say what you mean uh, and mean what you say I think it's 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 uh it's extremely important and I think it's sometimes rare right because I think sometimes uh it also means um saying things that you know you're insecure about right uh, uh um uh, or you're not happy with and and it's uncomfortable um so I think you know that's something that I that that I value um And the third thing I think is um um the ability to think beyond yourself. Uh uh and again I I think people nat all people are naturally selfish um and and I I definitely you know include myself in this category. Uh but I think being conscious of you know when you're being selfish and and, and when you're not uh and and recognizing that um oftentimes there's a you know bigger picture uh 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 at play uh i think is 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 definitely uh um important i think it, i think it act, actually when it cut what it comes down to is is not so much the lack of selfishness i think it's it's important to be self aware um and i think when you're very self aware you know you are conscious of 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 you know when you're making decisions purely just based on on yourself and that's okay uh that's okay but but be open and say that you know or or at least think that like hey this is just for me uh mm-hmm. and so i i i think i i really value people who have the self awareness to see where they stand to uh, uh um and 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 also recognize that you know um it's not always about you kind of like you know our our, our value there that uh, i i i think um i think this idea that you can actually uh think about things beyond yourself i think it requires a certain degree of of self awareness and and i think you know when i interview people this is one of the most common things that that i ask is, is i ask them to be vulnerable and 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 talk about you know what are their mistakes you know what are they bad at uh, uh what are the what are the embarrassing mis- uh, uh issues that they've that they have in their career or in their personal life uh and not because i'm on a pry and be nosy but because you know it it requires a certain level of self awareness uh, to be able to know where your limitations are when you do things that you're not proud of uh uh and 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 i i tend to find that people with high levels of self awareness um tend to have a view uh that it that goes far beyond themselves i think um so yeah. i would say those are my three i'm yeah i'm once this blog publishes i'm going to tweet about it and say go to this section and if you're getting if you want to get hired at gojek make sure that you are going through these three qualities and kevin will have uh, and if you don't have don't even apply but we are a great company anyway uh, okay one question for andre so uh oh, no. andre, you came, yeah a very simple question so you came so you people don't know about you that andre was our investor a uh, very early investor and at one point of time andre decided to join us and i think that was one of the best decision andre did for us um and for himself as well but way more way more better for us actually um if you do not had andre over here um things like so one day we used to joke about it one point of time 2018 or 2019 so andre said i handle the peripherals or outside gojek office you handle the tech inside the office and that's how we defend gojek right and that's like really cool now there are way many more people but it's like amazing right um so three questions for you andre three three things from you you have to um if you have to redefine the the way we operate or or the way people should operate um or the way you expect people to operate um what are the three things you would say people to behave like or people should work like i think uh if if i can answer your question i think first is uh um i i would really um obviously prefer uh when someone make uh you know a comment or a decision that is already a well rounded uh signals that he or she takes before going there because sometimes 
what irritates me uh, is that uh, uh, when something is being uh, thrown or something is being decided that is, you know, that hasn't taken into account all the context, right? Because context is important, especially uh, at the stage of a company of where we are, you know, uh, the complexity of, you know, uh, effects um, that uh, we make in, in any of our decision, right? Uh, and, and to have context, um, the tools are already there, right? I think, you know, people can speak to each other, you know, people can actually ask questions and stuff. So, so that's actually, it's, it's really important for me because uh, uh, unfortunately we, we're not like where we were in 2015, like for instance, releasing really go-car <laughs> uh, by mistake and stuff, right? So, so having, having uh, done the homework and then really take into account the level of complexity that carries with any types of decisions and stuff, is, it, is, it is really important. And it also uh, makes, uh, you know, any, any kind of a, uh, walls between or silos between uh, a decision that is made by one person uh, that is in one function or one product uh, uh, less selfish, if you may, uh, especially when uh, it's, it's being done together, right? So I think, you know, that's definitely a, a, a big character, you know, or traits that I'm, you know, that I'm um, obviously uh, uh, preferred uh, in, a, in a bigger way. Uh, what else? Uh, I I think uh, similar to Kevin, uh, I do like uh, uh, intellectual honesty, right? Because uh, this is not a political game, right? No one is like the way that we should think about things are, you know, whatever the decision that's being made or any execution uh, will benefit everyone, especially our ecosystem, right? So I think uh, in intellectual honesty and honesty uh, in that regards uh, play a big role because uh, whenever, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, like for, for all the um, kind of audience, I'm an introvert that converted into an extrovert. So I'm a, maybe I'm a 50-50 kind of a person, uh, my side of a introvert. So I, I don't make, have hasty decisions. So whenever I have to decide, I, I get signals, right? The most signals, and sometimes I wait at uh, time, time uh, uh, because with time you'll get more signals, right? But at, at certain point when we have to make a decision, we, we have, we have to, right? And we have. Um, so I think, you know, having honesty in the, in the, in the settings, uh, you know, with, within your group, and then, you know, there's no like agenda, there's no, you know, like, you know, oh, you know, if I say this, maybe it's not going to be good for me. Uh, it, it, that's really important because all that signals that is very, very transparent and honest makes, you know, uh, a, a collective decision to be much better, right? And, and in some sense, it also means that uh, as a leadership, I don't, I don't like to make uh, just a personal decision. I, I like to make some uh, a group decision, right? So uh, in, in some sense, I, I like to, as, 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 as probably you can testify, I like to ask people before we, we make a decision. And, you know, again, uh, the honesty part with intellectual, obviously, because it's, it needs to be constructive, uh, cannot just be, oh, you know, I'm, I feel bad about this. I feel sad about this. <laughs> it needs to be constructive of why. Why are you feeling sad yeah. about this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's yeah. really important. Um, I guess I guess those those are the things, uh, Jay. I I am I'm, uh, I'm very uh, easy to understand person. I yeah. you know I I've always been you transparent. Are. No, you are like I, I I can tell I can tell you that. Uh, so I always say that if you want to have a if you want to have five wise kind of problem, go to Kevin, uh, and he'll ask you five. Or ten wise, he'll go deep into this. Like, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? What? What you want? They will just keep asking questions and asking next steps, uh, and that helps a lot. Um, but if you want to um, go present your problem to Andre and he doesn't have solution, he will not tell you what his solution is. But he'll actually 
tell you a lot. He'll guide you perfectly fine. Um, he'll make you, he'll make you very empowered. And also he will give you some more people to help you with the solution. And th those are the, just amazing things. And we always tell Andre has a very infectious smile as well. <laughs> he does. Uh, so when I tell you, when I first learned Bahasa, uh, to, to understand our drivers and all stuff. When I spoke to a driver for like five minutes, you won't believe that how proud I felt of myself. That I can can converse to a driver in Bahasa and understand his problem. Because he'll just say, act error. And I'm like, what is this? Like every time, so so it is, okay, I'll tell you one funny thing, right? This is like last thing and uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this. So this driver goes on. So he said, uh, sir, um, Mr. Uh, Dari India. And I say, uh, yeah, and I say, Bekarja, uh, uh, and I say, and he will try to speak to me in English, and I say, I say, Saya Bekarja, the Gojek, Saya Barbachara, Bahasa Indonesia, Sedikit Sedikit, and then he will slow down. I will say, then he will slow down, and then, then he will explain me what is going on. So, so I at one point of time I stopped wearing Gojek T-shirts uh, within uh, with in Jakarta because if every time. Uh, this 2017, 2018, every time we wear Gojek t-shirts, I'm on Gojek driver. They'll know that I am Indian. I work at Gojek. And most likely, most likely, I am working in technology or engineering. So they'll start, they'll stop the stop the vehicle or car and tell me the problems <laughs> they have. Oh, that's how we came to know about this cardless withdrawal. Like Arlinda has very good story about it. When we rolled out cardless withdrawal, um, one driver actually called back Arlinda and told her, boo, Tirimakasi, uh, you did an awesome. I can withdraw money. I don't have to go anywhere, and I can take. Uh, I can, he was able to purchase medicine or something like for his his son or daughter. I don't remember the exact. But yeah, those were the amazing moments, right? So given that, uh, I think uh, when when people saw me speaking Bahasa, they used to get surprised. So I was very surprised that you knew that. It's like simple thing. Like who would who would expect an Indian to Indian who to speak Bahasa Indonesia? Right, and then I learned that we should never say Bahasa. We should always say Bahasa Indonesia. So I'm doing all of that. So those kind of things, and those are like, a, uh, what is Meraputi, and how those kind of things are just amazing, right? Like they grow on you. The only thing is just my practice is gone away. But yeah, I could speak. I could speak to our drivers for a while. Yes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think uh, we are running out of time. Uh, anything else? Anything? Okay. I'm going away. Uh, you guys tell me a um, few things for me. What should I do and what should I not do? <laughs> not a feedback. Okay. So don't be very positively <laughs> like, just be just, just keep it nice because it's going to go public. So other things I know. <laughs> Don't uh, do whatever your wife wouldn't approve. <laughs> good job. Uh, yeah, that that's is like, easy. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's easy one. <laughs> Kevin, I'm going to get a dog. Apart from that. <laughs> uh, I would highly recommend getting a dog. Uh, but uh, beyond that, I, I, I think, you know, Ajay, um, I think you, you should never lose the the enthusiasm, right? I think, uh, I think uh, uh, the last, you know, few years has been a roller coaster. Uh, but I do know that um, uh, that roller coaster has taken a toll on you uh, in, in, in many ways, right? Physically, mentally. Um, and I guess, you know, what I would hope that, you know, when you come out of this, you take your break. Um, and, you know, you regain the the very infectious AJ enthusiasm that you're kind of showing right now, right? But but I think uh, uh, in a in a, in a personal in, in a personal capacity, I don't think it ever went away. But I think in a professional mm -hmm. capacity, um, I okay. think you know, the the last few years have been have been hard on that. And and I think uh, uh, I would hope that you know whatever you do uh, after this, you know that that enthusiasm uh, is is rekindled um, because I think. Um, you know, we, as you mentioned, you know, we have all kinds of uh, uh, heated debates, but I think that that's the that's the part that that that's uh, that's part of the magic, right? And and I think you should yeah. you should never you should never lose that. Um, 
and I think um, the second, um, I mean, I'm not going to tell you to, 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 to do things that are very obvious, right? I think, uh, uh, I think I don't need to tell no, you about very valuable, continuing to love, uh, to, I don't need to tell you to continue to, to love technology, right? Um, <laughs> but um, I think, I think probably the only other thing that I would, I would say is, um, uh, mm, I guess, uh, maybe be very um, be very conscious and deliberate with uh, what you've learned, right? I think I I I, I don't think uh, uh, I I generally I, I don't I don't think it's always I don't think it's always good advice to tell people to never change, right? Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I hope that you come out of this experience with a lot of you know very um, I would say uh, a pivotal uh, learnings that you know will will change you kind of for for for, for the better, right? I think uh, again, no. um, I, I think when you kind of look back on things uh, as well, it's easy to think about you know the the, the good things and over romanticize them, uh, or or think about the bad things and, and and think like oh you know like that wasn't fair or that wasn't great and I'm so happy no. No. that I don't have to deal with that you know anymore. Um, and like, but but rather than kind of like being in the moment, that emotional moment, you, you take yourself out of it, uh, and 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 really kind of um, uh, think about you know what have these moments taught you about you know yourself or about you know life, uh, and, and and don't see it from that emotional uh, uh, that 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 emotional lens, uh, no. uh, because you know again you've had amazing moments and I've, you, I'm sure you've had like all of us had pretty low moments as well. No. Um, and, and, and I, I guess I would ask you to, to see those objectively and, 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 and hopefully have those as very valuable learnings rather than as, oh, yeah. you know, emotional memories, I guess. Yeah, dude, those are like, I'll tell you, those are my expensive lessons, <clears throat> which people can have it. And, uh, they have shaped me, uh, who I am. If you were to talk to me five years back and talking to me today, uh, I'm a very different person. Uh, very very different person uh, and, and and for better I think I think uh, I already have a lot of FOMO for Gojek already uh, but for better I'm a, I'm a much much um, I what to say I was 25 when I came to Gojek I'm like right now 35 let me put it that way uh, whatever you do at 25 you do it uh, whatever you do at 35 you do it what you did on based on 25 so that, I will always keep these lessons they're very valuable um, there th so I was telling uh, the goodbyes are very difficult, right? When goodbyes are super difficult, when you have thousands of reasons not to leave, um, and Gojek is that that place which which makes you um, super sad. I always tell people that there is a there is a one reason to do something. There's only one reason to do something that you're passionate about it, and there are thousand excuses not to do something. And the only reason I have changed for this for Gojek is saying a thousand reasons to not to say goodbye and goodbye is so difficult. But there are so many more amazing lessons which I'm like keeping myself uh, with uh, and I'm, I say thank you thanks to all of you um, which, who have been in my life and I think we will we will it's not going your, your guys are not going away from my life but I'm like super um, super happy about it uh, in, a, in a way that I, I know you guys I have two I have two three five ten hundreds of new friends I have a different family and they all are they all gonna stay with me so that's what i'm happy about um and, but i do have a lot of fomo a lot of bittersweetness yes. <laughs> all right well we, this, all right. Is, uh, this went by this went by really quickly uh i originally yeah, I, I wanted dude. the time gap it to like uh 30 minutes and here we are almost two hours later uh this will be a challenge to edit. i think we can talk um, a lot <laughs> yeah so uh we probably you know should should cut it off before we end up here all day um, so, yeah. you know, thank you all for, uh, for spending the time and, uh, you know, good luck, Ajay, you know, it's been luck, fantastic. Ajay. Sure. Thanks a lot, I'm guys. Sure we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot from, from you and about you in the coming months. Yes. And there will be calls. Don't worry about it. <laughs> thank you. Thanks a lot. And love to all Gojek family. I'm really humbled and privileged to be here with you guys. And you taught me a lot. I won't be the person what I am today if I did not have any one of you in my life. So thank you for being there and tolerating me. And thanks a lot. We had amazing time. And I wish amazing time in future as well to go check.
That's my nine. Thank you, AJ. We love you, AJ. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> See you. Bye.